Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razor and I am a JRPG guy. Welcome back to Star Ocean Last Hope HD Remaster. Last episode we made our way here to the Cardi Anon Mothership. Uh, this area, everything is missable in this area. The chests are missable and all the monster data is missable. So from monsters 27 through 35 are all missable. We haven't even fought 32, 33, 34, 35 yet, but yeah, from 27 and 35 are missable. We've already got this one complete, the commando. So I'll have to complete the rest before I leave this area. Which I'm assuming is that way. To the right. So... I don't know. Got knocked down. I have to just use blackberries to keep my MP up. Beat 20 types of enemies. Alright, let me use some blackberries here. I don't have enough, I don't have any, I don't really have food to use, so. Obviously, it's better to use food. And you're supposed to use the blackberries in battle, but I don't have enough food. Leveling machine number one. So that you can actually place in your uh on your ship. Laser oscillator.
82,004 now. That's what happens when you uh, have to get 100% data on all the enemies. We got the ID card though. ID card error that this ID card is unregistered. Oh, so we have to go someplace to register it. Alright, basically I have infinite MP now. Cause our recovery rate's gonna be so high. I go over here to register it probably. Maybe we gotta go in that other room. I bet we have to go in this room over here. But um I need to go recharge the Thunder Ring. Oh, it already did get recharged somehow. Don't ask me how. No clue. Cardianon seem to be an even more vicious species than I thought. They've been forcefully taking over planets with undeveloped civilizations, one by one. It seems the invasion of Lemuris was only a small part of their plans. FaZe! Uh, I... I'm sorry, Limmel. That was insensitive of me. Mm, it's fine. I understand, Kay. In any case, we can hardly leave the Cardian on alone now, can we? We know what we have to do. I couldn't live with myself if we let something like the tragedy on Lemuris happen again. Well, before we can do anything, we need more information. How is it looking, Face? Yes. Let's see if there's anything else. Wait! Stop it right there! Oh, okay. Edge, isn't that... Yeah, it looks like the source of the disease on Lemuris. FaZe, pull up detailed data on this thing. I'm afraid I can't. The data's protected too heavily to break into. <sighs> I can read the file name. The Epiphanies of Guidance, but that's all I can access. The Epiphanies of Guidance? Hmm, that doesn't tell us anything at all. However, there seems to be something important inside this central isolation chamber, though I can't get any details. Do you think? There might be another one of those objects there. All right, let's head for that isolation chamber. Okay, so the enemies that you fight here, we're gonna be we can fight in the next area too, so it's all good. Um, we'll be going to another area after this area, so and it has all the same enemies, but then it has some new enemies too. So we're good. We can advance. Stop hitting me, dude. Shut 
Shadow Needles. Let me just double check to make sure all the enemies are in the next area. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I'd rather complete the enemies in the next area, probably. Though, then again, they might be r rare in the next area. Maybe I should complete the ones that we could fight here now. And then just fight the new enemies when we get to the next area. I guess what I'll do. I won't take long to get 100% with these monsters anyway. The only monsters that takes a long time to get for the like big ones. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll keep fighting the enemies around here until I get 100% with all of them and then I'll end the video. Or, not in the video, but we'll head to the next area, I mean. So yeah, I'm in the video in like 15, 15 minute episode. I, I meant to say head to the next area, I meant. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Or, I'm failing. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording now and I'm going to resume when I have 100% data of all the monsters. Be right back. Alright, I got 100% data with the monsters so far. Um, uh, Lizard Shaman, Cardi, Anon, Soldier, Lizard Warrior, Guard Bot Assaulter, and then Guard Bot Commando. We'll fight the other four enemies in the next area. Alright, cutscene.
Everyone, run! <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's sure not getting us anywhere. This room must be protected by some sort of energy field. One that can render any attack powerless. Uh. I've actually been having Limmel here try uh. her hand as well. This is weird. I can't use my symbology. As you can see, the field even disables symbology. That alone is impressive enough, but... We were transported to this room in an instant. That was matter transference. Teleportation. An energy field and teleportation. <laughs> They're certainly not lacking for technology. Thus is the wisdom granted to us by the epiphanies of guidance. It is useless to resist. Who's there?! Huh? What's this floaty floaty thing? It would seem we've been scanned. Ugh, how embarrassing. Are you a Cardianon? Where are you? How about you quit prying on us and show yourself? <gasps> Cease your bellowing, inferior being. You would do well to realize your place. Are you the leader of this ship? And what if I am? Because if you are, I've got something to ask you. What are these epiphanies of guidance? What was that thing that made such a mess on Lemuris? Our friend's home! Answer me! Edgy. We, the Cardinan, shall be the rulers of this infinite cosmos. We have been blessed by the gods. All inferior beings will be eliminated. What? It's okay, honey. We're with you. You're out of your mind! You think it's okay to cause pain because you're some kind of superior beings? We are merely implementing the natural laws of nature. You bastard! If I may interject, you have not yet answered the key question. What do you hope to gain from knowing the words of the gods? The what? Well, well. So, you are descendants of the Mua. Mua? Impurities are of no use to us. You, of Muon blood. Muon blood? Is he talking about us? <clears throat> we issue a mandate. You will stop the Steel Giant. Steel... Giant? You will instruct the Steel Giant to cease its destructive activities and surrender at once. Hold on! What the hell is this steel giant? An invader. It came here with an accomplice who escaped our grasp. Another descendant of the Mua, like yourselves. In fact, he wore the exact same symbol as you. You're saying he had the SRF emblem on him? We believed we had captured his ship. But apparently, yours was merely a vessel of the same design. However, your vessel also bore precious specimens. Two, in fact. Thus is the will of the gods. The same design. The same emblem? <gasps> so, he actually was here after all. I think I finally understand the cause of all the damage we've seen on this ship. 
Everything is because of this steel giant's destructive activities. It's no wonder the Cardianon paid us so little attention. In any event, you are to be used as specimens. You will enlighten the giant before you are disposed of. Heed my words and instruct it immediately. Surrender at once! Fine. You want some instruction, huh? Edge! <sighs> my name is Edge Maverick! I'm a friend of Crow's! Listen! I have no idea who or what you are, but if you came here with Crow... Don't hold anything back! Smash this ship to pieces! The Cardian On are insane! We do not understand your actions. You will remain in confinement here until your punishment has been decided. Um, sorry? There's no need to apologize. Frankly, I feel relieved. You sure told him. Edgy, you're so cool. Yep, just like you, Edge. Though I do think you went a little bit overboard. What these Cardianon are doing just isn't right. I know you would have acted the same way, Crow. All right, let's talk to the party members. Oh crap. Oh no, this isn't a private action, we're good. Of course, I'll take them down, all down. Mission of other planets. I'll get us out of here. Oh, there we go. That's what you gotta choose. I don't know, but if I had to venture a guess, I'd say it's probably the Cardianon's steel giant. Ah, uh, it's coming this way. Be brief. I am Bacchus D-79 of the Morphus. Please, come with me. W wait a minute! Just like that you expect us to follow you? Hmm. So you must be Mr. Edge Maverick. Huh? Your voice print data matches that of the call broadcast throughout this ship earlier. Let us go then, Mr. Edge Maverick. Just hold on a second, okay? First, I want to say thanks for coming to help us. And next, there's something I need to ask you. The thirst for knowledge always presents chances to gain insight. 
As a humble scientist, I would like nothing more than to answer your questions. However, our current reality does not permit leisurely conversation. Let us go, Mr. Edge Maverick. Fair enough. I'll save the questions for later, Mr. Bacchus. As you wish, Mr. Edge Maverick. Incidentally, please feel free to call me Bacchus. Will do, Bacchus. Likewise, you can just call me Edge. As you wish, Mr. Edge. No, I mean... Ugh, never mind. So, where are we going? The central isolation chamber. There I can fulfill my duty. Your duty? The objects known as the Epiphanies of Guidance. It is my duty to put an end to them. I see. Well, that's convenient. Hmm? Uh, just, we need to be getting there ourselves. Alright, and this is my actual favorite character in Star Wars in history, Bacchus. We're definitely going to be putting him in the party. We're going to be removing, uh, FaZe. I do recommend if you can remove any characters, remove Edge. Yep. It's got a. Let's see. Oh, I thought he had a lot of HP, but no. A lot of attack power. A lot of fence as well. Mazer Cannon. Okay. I don't know if he starts with any skills I like, but uh, he does have mining, which we're going to power up. Yeah, he starts with a lot of uh, SP anyway. He's got engineering, item creation, robotics, increases the chance of burning items after defeating mechanical enemies. But we're going to focus on powering, and he also has stealth too, which you can avoid enemies, but... Let's do mining, we'll max that out. And then we'll work on engineering. Or robotics, I mean. And then... He has two abilities at the beginning, Force Breaker, launch a barrage of missiles from behind exploding on contact. A galvanic shock shock or shock up both arms of electricity, then grab the enemy and shock them. A voltage burst. Okay. So we'll set him as a party leader. Well, I don't need to set him as a party leader, I can just switch to him. Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. He's like a cyborg guy. I love cyborgs. Freaking like mech men, basically. Went in 90, 70, 50, 30 seconds. Yeah, we're in a new area now, subterranean city. I 
think this might be a new enemy here, maybe. Because there's a new dragon newt that we can fight. Nope, this is the regular dragon newt. I love that attack already. He's already got an attack I like a lot. Comet Rube. I never did equip that Blizzard Protector. I'm gonna change him to beat rank beat B though. I don't need to fight those things, so I'm not gonna bother with them. Could avoid this lizard too. Yeah, so now you can kind of see why he's my favorite character. And this is just the beginning. It's like a gravity attack he gets that I really liked to use a lot. I used to spam it all the time. I forget uh, how it looks. I forget what it does though. I remember thinking I should max out on the like gunpowder and micro circuits. Yeah, I'll buy five more. I don't wanna I could probably buy more later, it's fine. Holy crap a moly. I need to set the R2 too though.
We can launch a missiles at the enemies, that's so cool. Ambrose like crazy in this room. There's no enemy by the way, Cardi and on um, General. Damn. A lot of EXP there, a lot of full. Cardia non general. Cardia non bow. Nice, nice upgrade there for her. By the way, every chest in this area is missable just like the last area. Um, you can actually leave and come back and put that same ambush again, I think. Yep, I remember this area. This is one of the areas I actually remember. Gonna be armed dragon newt, by the way. I was just getting warmed up. Bring him on. Now that's what I'm talking about. Go manual rage. Increases your chances of becoming enraged when an ally is incapacitated. This is a boss battle? I guess so.
No, I thought it was a boss, but it was not a boss. It wasn't a normal battle theme, though. <laughs> Holy crap, speaking of boss. Not a boss, but big enemy. Arm Dragon. Level 5? Or is it level 10? Oh no, it's Arm Dragoon actually. So that, that reference that makes sense. Quantum Processor. Trying to get to a damn save point. You'll be hearing that a lot in this playthrough. Dragon scale armor. Another forced encounter. Kind of reminds me of the botches. Kind of reminds me. This ability kind of reminds me of the Patriot from a. Uh, Lost Saga. I know no one's going to get that reference. But look up Patriot gameplay on YouTube. And tell me that missile attack from uh, Bacchus doesn't remind you of, or doesn't look just like the Patriots missiles. Dude, do you mind getting off me, bro? Of course. Warning Brooch. And 20 hits during rush mode. Damn ship's out of here.
Okay, there's the save point I was looking for. Alright, I'm in the video here. In the next episode, we'll get 100% data with all the monsters and we'll advance the storyline and all that stuff. Or I might get 100% data with all the monsters off screen, actually. Um, but I'm in the video here. Later.